the most known methods in terms of uh, evaluation. So in terms of usability methods, there are lots of methods that are uh, well known. One of, of these methods is called System Usability Scale, SUS. So basically it's a questionnaire that you give to the user after the, he, he uses or he performs some activities in, with your product and it can measure these three dimensions that I mentioned before, effectiveness, efficiency and satisfaction. Uh, additional methods that are uh, they, that come from usability uh, and and very known are the cognitive walkthrough methods, the think aloud, and the diaries. We are going to study this um, deep uh, throughout this semester. So there are other methods that can that are ad adaptations of the previous one. The the one called extended usability testing or the true tracking real time user experience or UX expert evaluation, property checklist, and or other completely new from user experience, the attractive diff to measure emotions, the emotion card, the emotion uh, emo faces, or the reaction cards. The system usability scale is a quick and dirty scale uh, popular for end of tests. Basically, this is the system usability scale. Ten questions and, and in the end you got a, a more or less notion of how effective, how efficient and how satisfactory is your product or service. Usually this system usability scale um, is set when your product is or either in the high fidelity phase or in the market. This is how you can uh, uh, tell the system usability scale. So, if your questionnaire or your answer score in a range from 0 to 100, 0 means that's not good, you need to provide more evaluation techniques so to understand what is wrong with your product, and 100 is, is good, so you don't need to focus more on usability. Attractive is also a questionnaire, but in this case, it doesn't measure only pragmatic aspects of your product. It measures both of them, the hedonic and the pragmatic aspects. So, attractive um, uh, it assesses user feelings about the system with a questionnaire and related with UX experience. Um, and the attractive export um, pragmatic qualities like identity, stimulation, and attractiveness, and then technical to human, complicated, impractical, uh, unpredictable, confusing, and ruling. This is the aspect of the attractive. It's an online questionnaire that you provide to the users after they use the, your product. Usually, high definition product, uh, prototype or products in the market. Discover and Wizard of, Wizard of Oz are uh, the most known testing methods. This technique, uh, Wizard of Oz, can be used to test device concepts and techniques uh, during a low fidelity prototype, like paper prototype or high fidelity prototype. When doing a testing or evaluation method like this one, a question that comes up very often is how many subjects shall we use? With this kind of evaluation there are no precise number of subjects. 
Some some people say that five is is more than enough. What I, I say is that you go along and try to see with one or two. If you with one or two, you already have enough information and enough resources that enable you to understand the what were your aims for evaluation. Then it's good. It means that you can. Um, uh, apply those uh, those changes and then later on you can evaluate again so what I'm what I'm saying is that evaluation it should be a iterative process you shouldn't use many users at a time you should use a small number until you get the feedback necessary once you get the feedback necessary to improve your product, then you implement those uh, measures and you try to improve it and you test it again. When applying pre and post tests uh, methods, uh, we need to, you will usually do with questionnaires or interviews. And the main idea is to get a feedback and to get a, uh, the pre test is to get the feedback before usage and the post test is to get feedback after usage. A common questionnaire of a post test is the system usability scale. The evaluation protocol is one of the most important process, especially important when you are trying to evaluate high fidelity uh, prototypes or products in the market. But even so, it's important that you plan carefully what we are going to do. Otherwise, when you invite the user to come and you you waste the user time and you don't get exactly the data or the feedback that you were expected it's very unlikely that you have the chance to call this user again because his experience is already changed so usually um, during the um, uh, this evaluation protocol you should take an, an account to have more than one method you select a mixed method selection uh, like inspection or testing method or cooperative evaluation with uh, heuristics methods for example or you can also uh, uh, have a look to your user stories to your personas to your scenario to better understand what you want to get from the user what is the feedback that you are needing to improve your paper prototype or high fidelity prototype. Summing up what we just discussed before. So, we start by understanding why we need to evaluate, why it is um, the purpose of the evaluation, where and when we need to evaluate. Then we went to the focus and how to design the process, how shall we use or how shall we evaluate the object of evaluation. Then we try to understand a little bit of uh, the main concepts like usefulness, usability and user experience. And we grasp more or less the methods and the tools that we are going to learn throughout this semester. In the future, we will focus on learning the methods and the tools. We will focus on how to design a better evaluation Proceed and uh, procedure and how to implement the protocols. We also try to apply each known method or the most known methods uh, during the different development phases, the concept phase, the low fidelity phase and the high fidelity phase. In sum, as I mentioned before, in general, products and service evaluation can be uh, either formative or summative evaluated. In terms of low fidelity prototype or conceptual phase, we are not so rigorous in terms of uh, procedure and implementation. We apply a couple of methods to mainly to understand and get feedback on how to improve our prototype. So we can use one or two users at the time or uh, experts to better understand on how to design certain values, certain emotions and certain experience on our product mainly based on what we initially propose as a scenario or propose it as a persona to be using our service. During the 
high fidelity evaluation, then we should use more a mixed method and it should be more formal. The method of data collection should, should be uh, precise and we should do a pilot test definitely. And the evaluation procedure should be carefully planned in terms of what are the qualitative data that we want to get and what are the quantitative data that we want to get. If we want to assess more the uh, usability measures like the pragmatics or we want to focus more on the hedonic aspects.